Okay guys, I just got back from the store. Any of you who know, I've been working to get this managed for a while. So, um, I went down to Walmart today, no promo, promise, and got some of their cheap tables. Um, their fold away ones, the only color they had was black, I was kind of sad because I usually like to get white. But that's okay because they don't show dirt. So we're going to move this bed. And our desk is going to go back up against this wall again when I first started this whole endeavor there to where it was to begin with. And that's where it's going to stay when this whole thing is complete. Uh, those new Paris curtains that you guys seen in the video on Monday, um, they're going to go up and replace these green ones. These green ones are going to be moved into the washroom. Um, I'm not still 100% set on that. Um, I may change my mind between now and then but I really really do love those curtains but I love these curtains so much as well um I may even split them up and mix and match so we shall see I still have yet to hang up that photo uh if these curtains get moved to the washroom then so will that photo eventually I'm gonna have a tv hanging there anyway so that's gotta go eventually um and the tables that I got today are gonna line this wall um these two are going to be moved over here with this desk. Uh, these two tables will probably stay along this wall, possibly. This will go under the tables. I have another one in the living room that will go under the tables. Uh, this will get probably shifted over to this wall for now. So this one will go over to that wall. Uh, just as a transitional phase until I figure out where it needs to go. I really love this tray table. It is so convenient. I need to put bigger wheels on the bottom though. I'd like to get some cast iron, very vintage, big wheels to put on there. Fluffy, leave the fire gear alone, you big booger wiper. He's wiping his boogers. Boogers. You silly. So, and of course, I have to keep the basket. So I got to figure out how to incorporate the pooper, the pooper basket into all that. Um, if you guys haven't figured it out already. Um, little Miss Lexi here, and sometimes Fluff makes an appearance too, they have their own Instagram page, so it's, uh, at little Lexi Ann, L-I-L, Lexi Ann, um, on Instagram, I'll try and remember to leave the name below in case you guys want to follow her and her lamb chop shenanigans, which, by the way, she got the Papa Lamb Chop finally. Um, I got video of it. Hey, be nice, kids. And I'll try and throw a clip of it in here as well. It was very silly. So literally, this is what my workspace looks like right now. Oh, yeah, my lamp's not turned on. Um, let me get <laughs> my little lamp turned on. Oh, yep, my tablet's charging. So I decided today that I wanted to get out my book and work on it. Um, I threw that on there so you couldn't see 100% of the work. I'm, it's still a working progress. Uh, that's primarily what I got the tablet for was for working on my novel, which I've been doing for years. Um, hopefully one day I will get it post published. Um, if you guys are interested, I do have Instagrams and Facebook channels for that too. I'll try and leave them in the con link, uh, the links below. I have mentioned it once or twice in the past. And I fall off the wagon and stop working on it. And then I get back on and go all out and go crazy on it for a little while. It just comes in phases. So this is the triangle sets that I got going on right now. Um, they're prepped and ready to start being put together. Um, they're glued to the cardboard. Now i got to start um, finishing them up. Uh, I have another surprise that will hopefully be coming out possibly Friday because by Friday I have to mail out a wonderful goodie to our lovely 500 winner. Um, these are journals that are lined up ready for lace. As soon as they get laced, they head down to mom's for sewing. Sewing time with mom. Um, I also did work on, I can't, I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Like I said, my house is a mess right now, literally everywhere. Like that's my mailing area. Those are my bottles for work. Uh, there's a stack of stuff that I use continuously, so I'll pull it out whenever I'm not doing mailing and use it. Uh, this is the new bin I just got. I got to clean it up a little bit. But uh, in here, 
I just built kits for the paper bag journal. Here they are. And now these will not go down to mom's. I will sew these ones myself. And these will hopefully be going out this month. Fingers crossed. So I got to get out at least one this month. Um, I think there's like eight total going out this year. And I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, oh, I want to show you the little tables I got. These are the little tables I got. They're little, little tiny things. Not too big, and they fit perfect in the trunk of my little Miata. So, yeah, that's that's one thing I have to think about. I used to have a four-door mid-size to almost full-size truck. Not anymore. I have a little Miata, so now I have to think about, hey, does this fit in the car? <laughs> so, uh, for now, these two tables are going to go up against that wall. I might transition one of the smaller tables out here to use as a craft table so I have less space to clutter out here. I know my boyfriend might like that considerably because <laughs> uh, uh, he, he gets tired of the clutter. And I know I do sometimes too. So it might be a good idea to keep the smaller table out here to kind of condense some of it down. Um, and then put the big white table and the smaller black table. Oh, sorry about that. In the office. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully by the end of this video, um, I'll have everything ready. This is going to be one of those videos. Just so you know, it may be filmed out of order from other videos. So, uh, I will be back with you soon. Hopefully, in the next couple of days, I'll have a reorganized craft room for you. you guys don't like the... Sorry if you guys don't like the music. I gotta get the tunes going really active to get my cleaning on strong. So, I don't know if I showed you or not already. I'll go back through my videos and check it out. But, um... <clears throat> this table works perfect. I got a second one here that's going to extend out this way. Um, these two will sit side by side on this table, which is going to go right there. Um, that one I'm still working out where it's going to go. I think I mentioned that before. This bed comes down today. The memory foam is going to go into the guest bedroom closet for kind of like a floor bed um, in case of emergency. I gotta create some roll straps for it. I have all of this paper ephemera going on under here. A lot of that's getting organized out in the shed. Uh, thankfully, I have a really nice one out here. And it'll go nicely out there until I'm ready to get around to it. Hopefully here pretty soon the shed is also going to be turned into a studio within the next year or two. So, oh and I hung up the picture. Yay! So... Alrighty guys, I'll get back to you soon. Okay guys, as you can see it's a little crazy in here. Got tools and stuff everywhere. Um, I got two screws here. Three actually, this one and this one that just, and the one over there, right there, that just don't want to cooperate. So I had to go bust out the Dremel. Uh, long story short, the socket underneath the microwave tripped and I thought my thing was bad. Thankfully it wasn't, um, so the Dremel's now charging so I can cut out these screws. And I just remembered that that, um, uh, I'm having some, a little bit of foundation issues in the corner. The water was kind of like seeping in and soaking into the bricks. Uh, I remembered uh, last year when it started raining a lot, I installed a backsplash on the, so I have these thingies up here for the rain that came with the house, the gutters. So I installed a little backsplash to wa run the water further out. It seems to have really helped with that because it has been raining quite a bit the past week and m almost, yeah, all the bricks are pretty much dry. I was poking at one and I think it's just residual water damage. So hopefully that's stable. It ain't going to cause any issues for a while. And I can start saving up to have that patchwork done and fixed. So um, I will keep updating you on that as it goes. Because when that gets done, I also want to strip off all the paint off the bricks. And have the original brick look in this room. I think it would just be gorgeous. Alrighty. Little update. Now back to work. Ugh. Tearing apart the bed. It's actually going down to mom's house, so I have to go to Ace to replace the screws. So much fun! Okay guys, I am not kidding. I am so frustrated with this bed right now. I can't get that bolt off or that bolt. 
and this bolt I ended up having to cut off. You can see it has no more head. So thankfully these swivel around now, so this will be flat and I can get it out the door. And I'm pretty sure I threw out my back. Woohoo! Chiropractor Monday. Da -da 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 -da! The bed is gone. Woohoo! Okay, so now this desk is going to get moved against this wall. But um, I may stand by on that for the time being. Uh, I pulled this chair out of the living room. I love this chair. Um, and these are the new curtains. Just installed them. Or at least one panel to see what they look like. And I'm definitely in love. Those are the ones I was uh, got it Tuesday morning. If you guys remember that video. Uh, the haul. Um, so I have a friend coming over on... Uh, Saturday for a photo shoot. It has been a while since I've done a photo shoot with a person. Um, she is one of my favorites. I've photographed her a couple of times. I got the little pooper scratching at the door. But uh, I'm pretty excited to get back with her again and do another shoot. Um, sadly, I will not be uploading the photos because they're going to be boudoir shots. So obviously those are going to be very personal. If I do get a chance to do a couple that aren't classified as boudoir, um, I may show them off on my story on Instagram. Um, if not, well, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, you just might have to, you're going to have to suffice with my junk journal photography, <laughs> but I'm pretty excited because, I mean, look at that. It's, it's just, it's going to be gorgeous for photography works. I'm loving the lighting and even with my phone, it just, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. I got the vintage brick kind of peeking out. So that adds a wonderful feel. Um, hope Maybe I'll get in there tomorrow and scrape some more of that off or tonight. Uh, we'll see. Because if I can get a lot of it off, I think that would look really gorgeous with those curtains. Anyway, no, I'm just rambling. So I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon. Um, you'll probably see me again in a few seconds when I continue this cleaning rampage of reorganization. Bye! <laughs>
yeah, I, I seriously have to figure out where I'm gonna put that because uh, it's obviously not going to, I gotta figure out a new camera setup, so um, stay tuned for that as well. I love my camera setup. If any of you are interested, just uh, throw some comments below and I will talk to you about that. All right, I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon and I can guarantee you the video for <laughs> redoing the craft room is going to be excessively long. See, literally right now, I want to get all of this, at least most of it in the craft room. I think I'm going to pick up another one of these smaller ones so I can use a smaller one in the living room and just move this one to the craft room for uh, videography for now until um, I figure out what I'm going to do with that setup. And I got the paper still to um, do a new mat because um, I know I had one or two people ask. This desktop is paper because my vanity is very, very old and needs redone. So I think... Um, Eventually, I am going to glue this or some more of this directly to this and varnish it. So, see, it's about time to replace it. And I think when I finally get finished moving everything around, that might be a project at the top of my list. So, oh, and they don't even sell this paper anymore. I might have to order online if I do need more of it. But I think I have enough for most of my projects that I want to use it for. I hope. Fingers crossed, because I love that stuff and it looks so gorgeous. All right, bye! My new curtains, by the way. Oh, guess what? These are my swippers. Yeah, Fluff. Yeah, tell them, those are my swippers. Yeah, they look like cartoon tennis shoes, huh? Yeah, you tell them. Where's your friend Lexi? She being lazy, hmm? The photo shoes yesterday wear out. Yeah. Wipe your boogers. <laughs> Silly. Well, the photo shoot is over. We got it done yesterday with a lot of gorgeous photos we were very happy with. She forgot one of her backdrops, but that when we didn't even use it, it was funny. So um, I finally moved these into place. Now I got to measure the window and find out exactly where the middle is so I can move this table in place and figure out where my tripod is going to go. Woohoo! And this table literally set up perfect. And I have the other one in the living room right now, and it's going to go right next to it and really, really help. And um, I have one of these in the closet. It'll probably get moved under here, too. And I may go down um, in the next couple of weeks and pick up two more to help with organizing until I can afford the really, really big shelves that'll go across this big wall. So um, very simple for now, and it works great. Now that the bed's out of here, I'll have some more space and be a lot more organized. So... We'll see what it looks like when it's done. You can see Boo out weed eating right there. Yeah, he's he's getting uh, things done for me. Thank you. <laughs> he's so cute. Anyway, uh, finally got the desk moved over. Really happy with it. Uh, if you guys were on Snapchat, or not Snapchat, uh, Instagram, you just seen the cute little picture with the po poopers posing on the chair. Um, uh, when I did it, at the exact moment. Obviously, you're going to see this video a little later. So, I'm loving how this turned out. Obviously, I need to organize these. Um, they are pretty organized, but there's some stuff just stuffed in there that i got to deal with. Same with these. Um, got to go through and organize a little bit. Uh, other than that, looks good. Pretty excited. Oh, it's coming along. And there's the tripod. i got to figure out how in the world I'm going to do that. So, all right. I'll be back. That is perfect. Thank you. Yep. That's it. He's helping me adjust my camera. That is utterly perfect. Actually, I need... Oh yeah, I have all of my filming space now. Eh, maybe not quite all. Oh, well, nearly. Woohoo! That's pretty exciting. Okay, guys, I'm trying something a little new with the new setup. Um, I'm hoping that these headphones are properly functioning. So, test, test, one, two, test, test, one, two. Here's poor Lammy Chop and her little ear. Lexi was a little sad. 
when mama gave her a stiff talking to about chewing the ear off her toys. So she was not very happy about that. All right, I'm going to check to see how this came out. Okay, guys, it kind of looks like everything. Oh, no, not quite. Alrighty, I'm liking that setup much better. And now I'm going to go ahead and sit down on my little bench and see if it's recording me through the headphones or if it's recording me through the camera because if it's recording me through the camera, I'm speaking soft enough to where it can't hear me right now <laughs> very well anyway. So, uh, we got some junk on the table, obviously. We are in the test, and again, here is poor Lammy Chop with her little ear. <laughs> Fluffy, come here. Come here. You want to get in on this? Is it going to act all loud? Come here. Yeah. Get up there. <gasps> Say hi to everyone. I want to eat this, Mommy. It looks like food. No, that's not food. That, that goes to Grandma's house. You want to go Grandma's? Go Grandma's? They say go grandma's? No, I know we're not going to grandma's right now. Um, Fluffy does not have his own Instagram account. But if you want to follow him and his little friend, Missy Mexi Man, come here, turd. <laughs> then you can find them on Instagram at little Miss Lexi Man, or little Lexi Man. And you can see the both of them and their friends laying around. You guys are dorks. And they they kick each other's patooties, they chew on lamb chops, and they just have a whirl of fun. And they're so loving and so caring. And such sweetie pies. So, alrighty, let's see what this video looks like. Oh, perfect. Okay, guys, these are some really nice headphones that came with my last camera phone. We'll see if we can't do a recording um, without them ending up in the shop. <laughs> um, I'm not sure that that's going to happen very well. Um, you can probably hear all the worrying and the Oh, and I got them in the wrong ears. Um, let's try putting them in the right ears, maybe. Oh, here comes the aerial planes. Right on cue, right when I'm filming every time. Even if it's like a practice film. Yep, there they are. Okay. I feel like if I could, like, take a body pin, <laughs> I'm going to look ridiculous, but if I pin it to the top of my head... Ooh, I've got a safety pin here I can track with. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Then it won't end up in the camera shot. <sighs> now, if it does, I'm going to be a little sad because then, you know, my ingenious idea won't work. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, as long as I don't move around or shake my head too much or, you know, do any head banging while I, I got the rock music on, I, I think I'll be good. Um, but I still am not sure if that's in the camera shop so i guess i'll know in a few minutes um i do still have some good arm reach even though i got this silly cord dangling from my head i mean man if someone walked in i'd, I'd totally freak out and destroy the place because i'd be like oh my god stand up and rip out the phone and the tripod with me so all right well let's see how this camera video came out and if the cord is in it Whew. I'm pretty excited, guys. I was almost worried that I wasn't going to get here in time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I had to get down off my stool. <laughs> um, this is uh, the... See these pretties? I just got done filming that for you guys. This is the wonderful microphone that just came in. And we will... See how good it is. Alrighty. 
And at this rate, I'll be able to sit down insignia and the reviews were pretty good on it so um it seemed to have gone over very well with quite a few videographers so we shall see i'll even do a test right now for you and just so you know i'm not gonna pause the video because i don't want people to be like oh well you paused the video and hooked up something else nope this is legit this is it Oh, what's all this? Okay, so here's some adapters. And I got it with a headphone jack. Oh, what's all this? Smartphone and camera. So um, from what I'm mistaken, this also, or from what I understand, I mean, this also works with a GoPro. I love how long this cord is. That's going to be wonderful for... Oh, this is a little... Oh, okay, here we go. Here's some of the parts that I was... Yeah, yeah. So there's a little fuzzy uh, to protect it from, like, the wind and, you know, all that other nonsense. Okay, there's our little fuzzy, our poofy. And here's our little clip. Oh, that's a heavy-duty clip. I'm loving this clip. It's, it's actually made of steel. Alrighty. Well, let's hook her up and test her out. Now I see how long this cord is. Well, it's longer than I thought it was going to be. A lot longer. But I do like that this kind of thing here, I can clip it on my tripod. Forgive the shaking. There's going to be a little shaking right now. Eh, I'll clip it up later. So, oh wait, no, this I can sit in the drawer or something. All right. I hope it's still filming. All right, now I got it clipped. Uh, we'll do directly under me. That way it hears everything. No, I'm not gonna do any crazy acrobatics and crawl under the desk right now. I just wanna hook it up. Alrighty. Hopefully it's working. Um, let's get up here and look at the, oh, the, the poofy fell off. Oh no, I might. Oh, there's a little lip there. You guys are probably hearing me be all poofy with it. There we go. Uh, all right. If it has anything to say about me plugging it in. Recording audio through headset. Okay, perfect. Um, I guess that means it's working. Um, I'm going to come stand up according to this cord. A million miles away from filming. Let's see. Yeah. I'm like literally on the other side of the... <laughs> the camera's probably shaking. But I'm uh, untangling all this wild mess right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's nice. And I can literally... I think it's like 10 feet long. Really, really. I'm in... I'm, no joke, I'm in the kitchen right now. <laughs> so... Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to need to be in the kitchen while filming in the craft room. But that is pretty convenient for lengthwise. I was hoping to go wireless, but I really couldn't find anything. So this suffices really well. Um, I'm going to unplug it now and check to see how the audio sounds. Obviously, I have to check it and see if it looks good before, you know, I send it out to you guys. And it looks like this cord fits nicely into the desk and it closes really well too so I can get under the desk and mount it in and make it look like it's almost not there actually I have an idea for that so um I will talk to you guys when I am finished with the craft room video for this segment all right bye okay guys it's been a wonderful weekend of finally getting everything organized uh we got our scrap um cardboard box down there slash stuff that needs to be I up like the the little carton I'm gonna upcycle into some little goodies um I I still need to get this box organized this is a batch that needs lace this is a batch that needs lace this is fabric it needs to go in the fabric so you could say that for the most part all of them are pretty well organized on top see this is just uh, bags that need a place but I got the fabric there. 
um, comics here. Of course, the bubble wrap here. I can't, I can't bring myself to get rid of that. I, I want to pop them all before I do. Uh, this box I think I'm going to use for like stuff like this. Uh, the cards and, and envelopes and things and my fingers in the way. <laughs> And then we also got, uh, oh wow. Okay, this I actually need to pull out and get done. So this will go over on the get done table. And this has just got some stuff in it that's a catch-all slash. I pretty much use it for a lot of things. See, here's my, my Gurr bracelet. I'm in love with Invader Zim and Gurr. I wish they would start producing cartoons again. <laughs> There's a lot of people that say that. So... Um, I keep these boxes. I've been keeping, well, actually, we could have just put this down here in the cardboard for now. Um, and, well, it's all getting pretty well organized. So, I just wanted to show you kind of what was going on up here. Um, the next task is starting to pull down everything up here, going through it and reorganizing that little basket. Um, I was actually using it the other day. It's some fabrics I've been using for my current project. I think that's going to be my fabric catch-all when they're not consistently in those fabric baskets. And then uh, I can catch them into that basket and reorganize them back into the others. So that way that's just smaller and easier to carry with me. So um, it's organized in here, but it's cluttered. So we've been working on that. All of my paper has, well, almost all of my paper has been transitioned to this rack. Uh, the other half calls it my, um, my... My rain reason for the rainforest uh, issues. <laughs> if you guys are on my Snapchat, you seen it the other day. So, but yeah, it's it's getting pretty well organized. Uh, we got the desk going on here, exactly where I wanted it. The camera set up, and he was helping me really good with that the other day. Uh, that'll also probably be in here a little bit. Um, the video recording of him. Well, he you won't see him, but he's going to be grunting around on the desk while you see the camera sitting over the desk going like this. <laughs> so it, it was pretty interesting, pretty fun. And of course, we did find a new spot for Fluff's basket. And of course, he is back in his basket like always. He's like, yeah, mom's in the craft room. I know where I belong. <laughs> so, and of course, the pooper toys because his doggos were here while we were organizing and meals i mean no joke look at look at this lexi will have them organized in like in a pile there's one there it's been eaten there's one there there's one there there's one down there they're they're everywhere i don't even know where they all are right now so um i gotta dig them out and re-put them in a pile for her all right well i will uh get back with you guys on the next update bye Okay, guys, bef before I go, excuse me, I just wanted to show you what was finally finished today. So, I got the three cabinets underneath the table. They fit perfect. I got my scrap box. Um, I got my keys in my hand. <laughs> I got my scrap box here, which for some reason seems blurry. Got scrap box, and then that's like a material scrap box that's kind of like, eh, I haven't even really put too much in it yet. Um, it may stay a material scrap box. It may be something else. That's all my excess cardboard. And of course I got all of these goodies here stacked up. They, they gotta get a bit more organized. I'm still working on it. I have this table that's going in the middle of the room. Eventually this is where my island is gonna go. Um, it's gonna be a little bit bigger than it is now. But it is exactly what I'm envisioning. Just having an island workspace here that has a couple of uh, cubes, cubicles in here. And I want it to have the push top for the sewing machine so I can drop it down whenever I don't need it. And then, um, of course, right here will be the shelves. But for now, I got the tables, which works great. Um, that'll probably last me another couple months to a year. And, of course, back to my desk. I love my old vanity. And I moved this chair in here so the honey boo boo can come and visit me whenever I'm working on something or something's going on. Poor lamb chop here is on the surgery table, lost an ear, so we gotta stitch that back on. And I got the tripod set up pretty nice actually. And of course, I got a lot of light coming in from these windows already, but I got one light set there. 
And I got the other light set up there. And of course my sign, my awesome, amazing sign made by a good friend of mine. And of course I got this Ot light. Um, I may add this to my lighting, um, especially at night. But these two that I got from Walmart seem to suffice really well. But if anything, I can even add the Ot light like right here and have it come down for the filming. That would be really good too. So, and then of course I got my little carts side by side. Um, I This is still pretty much the same. I got my mailing envelopes here. Got all of my stock inventory that's complete. Paper, lots and lots of paper. Those are like empty Ziploc bags and containers. Um, mailing supplies, artistry supplies, my ink kit for all of my ink pads. Um, excess paper. This is where I keep, like, for, uh, this is also that really pretty wallpaper. I got quite a bit of it. I think I even have more in the shed. And then, if you guys are on my Instagram, you've seen the photo the other day, um, of all of my scrapbook paper. Aunt Trudy stocked me up with quite a bit, and I already had quite a bit to begin with, um, all of these are filled with scrapbook paper. All of the ones down there are filled with scrapbook. That I had. Half of that stack I had. And the other half of it Aunt Trudy added to. So I got a lot. And I'm only down to three packs of paper here. Yes, that's my boot. <laughs> I got three packs of paper left. So I need to order some. Or go get some new paper. Um, I have big, huge sheets of paper that Aunt Trudy sent me. Um, I have yet to sit and start playing with that. Those are going to go in the gigantuan journals. Um, but that's going to be a little bit later on down the road. So the closet is pretty well organized. I'd like to add like a shelf or two here. I think that'd be really nice. Eventually, I think I'm going to put a desk in here, but that's also later on down the road. We got the pallets and stuff outside. We just haven't gone around to it yet. So that is everything. And we're... And I can actually access the paper easier now instead of having to reach all the way up there every time I need it. So that's really, really nice. So I hope you guys like the way the craft room turned out. And as soon as I get it fully cleaned and organized, I will get a vi the, this video out to you. Actually, I may just put it out now and call it done. Maybe I'll do it Friday. And then when it's fully organized, then I'll just um, upload some photos to Instagram, maybe do like a short five minute walkthrough or something. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to go head over to the other half's house now. We got to go run some errands for a bit. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys. Um, I think I'm going to start doing a couple of tip videos. So this is definitely going to be one of them uh, off the top of my head. The one thing I have discovered that's really simple and cheap, and especially if you have a closet that you can put all your crafty things in, you have some extra coat hangers and you get these Joann's bags. Um, it doesn't have to be Joann's, it could be any brand. You can even make your own from some like raggedy fabrics or some fabrics that you just don't know what to do with or some really pretty ones. And you just slip them on a hanger and they work perfect for storing some of your goodies in. Like I've started putting some of these clear bins in here and I'm gonna use another one of these for my Ziploc bags because like these are all of my this baskets full of a bunch of Ziploc bags and storage type stuff. So I figure if I put them in these bags and hang them up, I'll have easier access to my paper and be able to upcycle this pretty basket and bring it out here and use it on the table. So I thought that was a really fun little tip. Um, another fun tip that I love is I have two of these gorgeous baskets from Joann's. I went and got them uh, for 50% off or 40% off, I think, each time that they had them and wound up with two. I love stacking and organizing my fat quarters in them. They work perfect. Of course, I got a organize these pieces of fabric in here. I've either used them or just recently purchased them and haven't had a chance to organize them in. Um, or they're so big that I need to get like a little stand-up style one to put some of like these rolled fabrics in. So these work really great and I try and keep my fabric down to a minimum in my craft room, especially if it's just for junk journals. 
Um, if I just keep these two baskets full, I've found that they are more than sufficient for whatever projects I have going on. If I have any extra, which I only keep about two totes worth of fabric, everything else goes down to my mom's house, then it keeps things pretty clutter-free and organized. I'm still in the process of organizing my craft room, so I haven't 100% found a space for these fabric baskets yet, but they will be going somewhere really fun. Um, right now I just have them sitting out on this center table for display until I decide where I want to put them. So my two tips for the day, um, I'm going to try and get at least three in. So when I think of one of my other ones, then I will, oh, um, I know a lot of people love organizing their goodies. Uh, here's my other tip is all these little bins are from the 99 cent store. Um, really cheap and easy to get a hold of. I think these ones are from the Dollar Tree. I think that one's from like the 99 cent store. Uh, this one's from the Dollar Tree. I even like to use oatmeal boxes. I'll leave them completely put together and just cut the flaps off of them. I haven't cut the flaps off of this one yet. Um, I also do the same thing with old boxes, especially if I get boxes in the mail. I'll uh, tape them up really nice and then just cut the flaps off the top and they work perfect for organization, especially if you don't have the money to go out and buy these boxes. You can also go down to the post office and get these flat rate ones for free. Just don't tell them <laughs> that you're not going to mail them out and that you're going to tape them up into boxes so like this and then you can cut the tops off of them. And they work great for little storage containers. I mean, just perfect. And then you can start organizing your stuff by different things. Like this one has my, my washi and these different things in there. And that works out perfect. This is a project that somebody has messaged me on that I haven't gotten around to yet. Because um, they haven't uh, really really shown 100% interest in me starting it quite yet. So when they do, it's here in this box ready to go. Um, I've been wanting to do a unicorn journal. So I've just been throwing some unicorn goodies in this bin. Uh, this is kind of a catch-all right now, but usually this is like, I throw the bits from like the Oh, what's it called? I can't think of it right now. It's the end of the fabric that's all jaggedy that usually quilters don't want to use. I've found saving these are really great. And I talked to all my quilters and sewing friends and have them save for me them for me because they work really great for the end of the book bumpers um, when it comes time to binding the book together. And of course, this basket or this metal bin is my current project with my triangle journals I've been talking about. And of course, these are all my like bric a brac and bias tape or, you know, quilt, quilt trims or trims and things like that. Uh, I keep them all in one box. And I took, I had a crap ton of book paper. I took all that, took it out to the shed, and just took um, the couple of books that I wanted to work with and have them up here. So I have a few to work with, nothing too crazy or overwhelming. I've been saving out the comics in the Sunday paper because I'm going to do a comic strip thing. So this is my scrap fabric box. And of course, I got these these um, these thingy mo bobbers. I think I'm going to put them in the bags in the closet. So uh, I think those are some really good, cheap, and innovative organization ideas. I haven't been able to get rid of my bubbly wrap yet because I'm still having fun popping it. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, other than that, I think those are my tips for the day, my three tips. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!